So now, of course, the preliminary to begin Raghunuga Bhakti, which he explained the other day, we discussed his greed. Assuming we now have genuine spiritual greed, <coughs> what is the process to follow Raghunuga Bhakti? So he says here, Krishna Smaran. That's why many acharyas, they comment and say that Vaidhi Sadhana is based on hearing and chanting. That's the primary limb, Shravana Dasha. And then Raghunuga Bhakti, Raghunuga Sadhana Bhakti is based on Smaran. Shravana Kirtana, Vishnu Smaran. So then we know one Vishnu Smaran says Krishna Smaran. Krishna Smaran, Jana, Jana Chasya Prashtan. Remember Krishna, what Krishna, Krishna Vrindavan, and remember Krishna's dear most devotees. So this is the process, Krishna is smart. Always remember Krishna and his devotees who have the same mood that I want. There's three things we have to do. Remember Krishna and those eternal associates that are expert in devotional service, like Rupa Mandri or Ragna or Rati Mandri. And we should hear and talk about Brajabhav. And three, we should live in Braj. It's difficult for most people. And Jiva Goswami's in his commentary, he's, he's saying here that if you can't, this is obvious, people heard this so many times. He says, if you can't live physically in the mind in Vrindavan, we should mentally, mentally we should think. It's very interesting how this mental process is working. Mentally we should think, you are living in Vrindavan. Whatever you want to achieve most, you should think you're already there. You may live in New Delhi or Bombay or Moscow or anywhere, but you should think I'm living in Braj. You should assume in your mind that you're already living in the spiritual world with Krishna and his associates. From the spiritual point of view, Krishna, God, the spiritual world in Vrindavan is unlimited. It's everywhere. Generally, if you ask someone, you ask someone, where is heaven, or where is God? Yeah, they usually go like this. <laughs> He's up there. And they point up like this. Or they say, where is Swarga? They say, up there. And where is, where is hell? And then they go down there. <laughs> usually they say, you go down to hell, and you go up to heaven. But in a more accurate depiction, because the universe is not linear, it's, it's uh, in all directions. Space is everywhere, not just up and down, it's everywhere. So everywhere is Vrindavan. The, the consciousness, the abode, the presence of Radha and Krishna, they can, they can be and they are everywhere and anywhere. Where is Vrindavan? It's there, it's there, it's there, it's there, it's here. It's inside, it's outside, it's everywhere. So mentally living in Vrindavan means that. It means to actually feel, I'm not living in, I'm not, this is not New Delhi. What is Lord Chaitanya showing when he was in Jagannath Puri? He was in Jagannath Puri, it's a seaside resort on the east coast of India, the Bay of Bengal, and mostly sand everywhere and some lakes here and there, in Jagannath Balava Garden, and trees, and everywhere he looked, he said, I'm in Vrindavan, this is Vrindavan. He saw a little grove of trees, and he saw this is Nidibhan, this is Sevakunj. We know, we have some friends, and, and they uh, live in Delhi, and near a park, one park called Deer Park. And they, they said, oh, every morning we go to Deer Park. So I went there one time with them. There were many deer there, animals, deer. And they showed me that place, we chanted over there. I said, you should just call this Priyavan. You should call this, this is Priyavan, this is Pri Priyavan, this is Radharani's Deer Park. And, and you should see this small body of water. This is Radhakun, and this is Shamakun. Like this, you should see like that. And Prabhupada went in West Virginia in America. He went to a place called what Kirtananda bought this land. At that time it was 50 acres, 1968. And he started a community there called New Vrindavan Community, farm community of devotees, <coughs> mostly from New York. And Prabhupada visited there and he walked around and he said, oh yes, this is Govardhan Hill. And they thought it was simply part of the Appalachian mountain chain. Appalachian mountain chain. He said, this is Govardhan Hill. Like you live in Switzerland. So you don't say this is the Alps, you say, oh, this is Govindan Parvat. This is Giriraj. This is, this is the idea. So Prabhupada, he introduced that idea. 
I've seen Vrindavan everywhere. And even named it, he said, this is Govardhan Hill. Then there was some lake and he said, this is Radhakun, this is Shamakun. And he told the devotees, there's no need to go to Vrindavan. You have every year. And in fact, the new Vrindavan devotees hardly ever came to Vrindavan in India. And they would have a yearly festival at Janmastami. And devotees from all around India would go there and visit. Of course, the, his Khan's annual festival was in the, uh, India, but that didn't start until 1974, going to Vrindavan, to Mayapur, then to Vrindavan. So from 68 to 74, the, Vrinda, the annual festival was in Janmastami time in New Vrindavan. And even after that, the devotees of New Vrindavan, they would never come. They say, Prabhupada, we are, we're in Vrindavan. We have Radhakundir, Shamakundir, this is Govardhan. This, and he said, this is Talavan. He called one forest Talavan, and one forest called Bahulavan. There's Bahulavan, Talavan, all the, all the Vans are there. And he told Kirtananda that he should make seven te- the seven temples of the Goswamis, he should put on the different hills there. He said he should put Govindaji here, Gopinath here, Madan Mohan here, Shamasundar, Dhamana, etc. He said it's so costly, so difficult. The devotees can just come here. This is Vrindavan. This is Vrindavan. New Vrindavan. Nava Vrindavan. Rupa Goswami wrote a play called Alita Madhav. Alita Madhav, he describes how Vishwakarma made you know, on the order in the Sri Dev. He made this whole New Vrindavan so that Satyabhama that was under the care of Sri Dev was actually Radharani. She could have a place to live outside Vrindavan, but she's actually Radharani. So then Vishakarma made this whole Nava Vrindavan. I don't know long story. So there was, there it is in Gujarat, in Nava Vrindavan. We're, so it's the, the mentality, because we are what our mind is. If our mind is hell, we're in hell. If our mind is sanctified and purified, then we're with Krishna. 